In this video, we're going to work out this limit. We are going to work out this limit. So the trick to doing this limit is that um, you can see two fractions here. Merge these two fractions together. But in order for you to add or take away fractions, you've got to get the two denominators to be the same. So, um, so times top and bottom by the same thing. So in this case, we're going to times top and bottom by, by, um, by x squared. By x squared. And uh, for this fraction, we're going to times top and bottom by um, by this thing here, which would be um, x plus h squared, x plus h squared. So uh, so this times this would then give you x squared. This times this is really x squared times this bubble. And then for this fraction, one times this thing would then give you this thing, and then uh, this thing times this thing we're just going to write it as this so now you've got two fractions one two notice that the two denominators are now the same now that they're the same you can merge these two fractions together so that will then give you this thing here so that will then take us to that will then take us to um, to uh, to here so now um, now multiply this out so uh, notice that the minus is on the outside, the minus is on the outside. So when you multiply this out, it will then give you this. So now this times this will give you minus x squared. This times this will give you minus 2xh and then uh, minus h squared, minus h squared. And notice that these two are exactly the same. So they cancel each other out, leaving you with, leaving you with, this uh, and now um, now what you've got is two fractions you've in effect have two fractions multiplying with each other so it's going it's going to be top times top bottom times bottom so one times this whole thing it will stay the same and then uh, when when you're here um, you've got one thing multiplying with this thing multiplying with this thing so it's just three bubbles multiplying with each other so just merge them together. One, two, three. They're just being these three bubbles are being multiplied together. So when you come to write it, just write it as h x squared times this thing here. Well, anyway, this times this thing here will then be this. And um, when uh, oh, um, when when you when you get to this stage here, notice that well you've got three bubbles multiplying with each other. When you put a zero into this h then the whole thing would be zero. So here you've got a case of dividing by zero. Um, it is really this h that's causing you all the problems. So if you look at the numerator, you've got h in common, h is in common, so factor out the h. So that will then give you this thing here. Uh, because if you get this times this, it will then give you this. h times h will give you h squared. So basically factor out the h, that will then give you this thing here. Now um, now you've got one bubble multiplying another bubble and then down here you've got this bubble multiplying with this, multiplying with this. These two H's they cancel each other out. So um, so the two H's will cancel each other out. That will then give you that will then give you um, this thing here. And then uh, and then now you can start putting H you can start putting zero into the H and nothing breaks down. And what I mean what I mean by nothing breaks down, you're not actually dividing by zero. Because look, if you here you've got one bubble multiplying another bubble. Um, if you put zero into here, x plus zero will be x, and then uh, so this bubble here will will be zero uh, will be x, and then you square it. So this thing here is your x squared here. So really, it becomes x to the power of four. So the point is that you put zero into here, nothing breaks down because you're not dividing by zero. This thing here will become x, and then you square it, it will become x squared times this thing here. It will then become x to the power of four, and then put zero into this h here. Um, minus two x minus zero, uh, it would just be minus two x. You see, you're, you're not dividing by zero at all now. So uh, anyway. From here, that will then take you to here, and then tidy this up um, to the power of three. Well, anyway, the limit is um, minus two over x to the power of three, 
and um, remember at this stage you have no idea what this truly means in the future this will have some sort of meaning okay so so for the time being for the time being we are just merely computing this limit we are just merely computing this limit we have no idea what what the answer really means but in the future in the future in the future this thing will have some sort of meaning to it at the moment you have no idea what it means you're just computing it okay